Hello everybody, welcome to episode 41 of the Subpar Pod EC. This is a nice little cut down for you, a nice little bite sized chunk so you can listen to it whilst you're eating your pasta or whatever you're having for dinner. It does look good. We are going to talk all about Uncut Gems, the Brawl with Lawler, Spring Series Europe and our sub tournament TRRLCS. So listen to the full episode if you want to hear more about them. Otherwise, enjoy. <laughs> We hosted an event along with Lawler, uh, the Brawl over in North America. It was the Brawl Invitational, and this was in partnership with ESPN, which is fucking huge. Lawler came to us a few weeks ago, said, hey guys, been chatting to ESPN um, for the next Brawl. I'd love to get you guys on board. Um, you guys bring the same energy that I would bring. Very chill, very cash. Um, she fancy doing it. We're like, yeah, that sounds awesome. So we then hosted the B stream of the brawl on ESPN Esports channel, and Lawler hosted the. Um, uh, it's the same bracket. It was just like the bottom half of it and mm -hmm. the upper half, and then we all met in the grand finals to the cast on Lawler stream. ESPN are really, really going big on Rocket League after going in with Landon Donovan over in the Rocket League Spring Series, and now with Lawler, they've sort of they've sort of pinted both ends of it, really. Yeah, so it seems that they are they're after the uh I was going to say the the highly sort of tight style of casting but as much as it can be at the moment without lands and without meeting up and being next to your caster but they're sort of uh, the, the highly polished style of RLCS level casting and also yeah as you say they are also going for the more community grassroots side of things ESPN we can't speak highly enough about them. Mm. Um, I'm sure Lawler said all this on his stream, but the, the the channel they were they were more than happy to let Lawler take the lead. It was always Lawler's thing, mm. Lawler's vision. They didn't try to interrupt that at all. He recommended us, which is why they came to us. So thank you so much, which Lawler. Is amazing. For if Lawler. you're listening to this, and I I just love how much respect one of the largest sports channels in the world had for what is essentially a very sort of in the grand scheme of things small prize pool yeah. rocket league grassroots event they would just go with anything they told us from the beginning that we were in charge of it all obviously they had some stipulations make sure you do this make sure you do that but for the most part the vibe was ours mm. and that doesn't happen with every company so Not huge 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 shout out to espn and we should reiterate again when i say small prize pool i do mean compared to the million dollar rlcs's but it's not a small prize pool considering it comes from one man and that is lawler he fronted all that two thousand dollars put in so much work to get it all going uh you know reached out to espn and made all of that happen so i mean i i, I implore everybody to to at lawler on twitter and to message him and just thank him and say if you think he did do a great job make sure that is known make sure those mm -hmm. opinions are out there because it means so much to hear that in public and he's also doing donations for a European, uh, for a European Invitational. Um, so if you guys want to see that happen, um, he's, he's seeking funding as well, but he wants to see, is there the want for it? And any donations for the EU uh, brawl will be going to the EU brawl. Um, so yeah, we sort of said about the vibe, the fact that it was mm -hmm. very chill. It was awesome. I really liked it. Um, I think a few people in Twitch chat, they weren't sure what to expect. And that's completely okay. Because... People were expecting it to be a tight cast, a uh, proper RLCS, such RLSS, I guess lesser RLSS because that's more chill, mm -hmm. um, uh, sort of level. But we followed what Lawler um, asked of us. Keep it chill, keep it casual, um, look at chat, involve chat, talk to each other. You don't need to do play-by-play -play and everything. Just say what you want to say and that's perfect. That's what he wants. Um, some people loved that, some people didn't. And I think in the end, a lot of people really enjoyed it, to be honest. And I really enjoyed that style. I enjoyed doing it as well. I'd say that I find it, I personally find it easier, funnily enough, to do the, the more proper style. That, to me, comes more naturally, I think, than just chatting over the top of it. So I was, um, I, 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 I had to figure it out myself on the fly. Because I know for you, that is what you're... Naturally, yes, yeah. you know what I mean. Like, in, as a compliment, talking shite over the top of it while 100%, keeping it entertaining. Yeah, yeah I'm, be exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm also better at that. Like, better at that than being polished. I sort of followed your lead a little bit, but I think that as we went on, you know, I, I think we did pretty well. I saw a lot of people in Twitch chat that weren't sort of, um, you know, scummy members of our community because, like, fucking Terzjak is always having compliments. Do you know what I mean? I don't give a shit what Terzjak thinks, but there were <laughs> so Terzjak, it's always Terz. But there were <laughs> there were people in Twitch chat names that I'd never seen before that were like why can't all casters be this? You know what I mean? So yeah. there's certainly the, the vibe reached some people. Uh, and I am 
very grateful for the people that posted anything remotely nice in the comments. Yeah. Also, the people that gave criticism and stuff like that as well. So that's useful Definitely, to know as yeah. well. And I think that we, you know, when the um, the series progressed, if we were into a game five, we weren't afraid to then sort of be a little bit more serious about what mm. was going on when the time See the mood, for it. it. See what happens. You don't want to be... Nobody wants to listen to a boring game and have it still be try-hard casting. It's mm. a conversation. Everyone, we've seen that people prefer conversations ultimately just overall. Um, it was... I think, Carl, you did an incredibly good job um, because you were also running the production oh, side of things because you've got a <laughs> streaming PC and I have never been happier to not have a streaming PC than they, on that day. I am blessed. <laughs> There are pros and cons to my dual PC setup. Uh, the, the, the pros are that streams can be 1080p, top quality, etc. Cons are that you're dealing with two big, scary computational devices instead of one big, scary computational device. So I had the production all set up. I had my stream deck set up so I could add a score to each team when somebody won. Blah, 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 blah. It shouldn't have been that difficult. The reason it became difficult... <laughs> was the player interviews where I thought they were going to be audio only and all my audio is through my gaming PC. So I'm on Discord on my gaming PC. The sound is obviously coming from my gaming PC. My mic goes into my gaming PC, etc. And then about 10 minutes before, it turned out that we also had to have video. Now, because it's really hard to explain why, but for reasons, that meant that when a video interview came through of a player, which before something I was going to have to jump in and then mute ourselves, which is fine, I'd then have to leave Discord on my gaming PC, hop over to my streaming PC, join Discord on my streaming PC, um, and then change the scene on OBS after all that was done, quickly as possible so people didn't see like five, six seconds in between. Uh, and then um, at that point, it should have worked. But a few, about 20 minutes before we started the broadcast, I'd actually muted my streaming PC because there'd been this horrible noise that had developed, which hasn't come up before and it hasn't come up since. I've not changed anything. But on that day, when uh. my streaming PC was unmuted, you just heard like a... Like a really horrible, like electric staticky noise. Okay. So I had to quit. I, I suddenly found out 10 minutes before that one, I had to set up this scene. Two, that's the theory of what I'd have to do. I'd have to move on to my streaming PC whenever there was an interview. And three, I had to somehow fix this, fix this in about 10 minutes time. So the best fix I could make up at the time was just to make it really quiet. So quiet that you couldn't hear the unappealing noise, but you could just about <laughs> hear the interview. And when it, when it went to the interviews, oh, and also because for reasons, again, I couldn't hear the interviews, but the stream could. So I had to have faith that the little green bar going up and down, which showed what the stream was hearing, was actually genuine and they could actually hear it. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And then after the interview, when well, I'd cut back, which took ages, I was like, oh, stop me. What did they say? Because <laughs> I couldn't bloody hear it. We don't necessarily. We weren't. We weren't coming into that series um, right, under Stumpy, underestimating what exactly E United Stumpy. are capable of. Um, <laughs> I can't hear you, man. They're going to be able Stumpy. to take that series and join them in the semi-finals. Um, Hello. Well, you are currently. Oh muted, my goodness. And that's okay. What's that's going fine. on? I think Chad can hear me. Um, Stumpy, I can't hear you like at all. This is all going wrong. <laughs> I'd have to just give a, give a quick summary of like, well, <laughs> Chrome says this, and you're like, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> wow, cool. It was, yeah, it was um, very... It was scary. It, it was quite hectic as well in the um, ESPN Esports chat. I was coordinating the um, graphics that we needed, any bracket mm. updates, and um, also uh, getting all of our players into lobbies and stuff. We had a bit of uh, bad luck. We had everything about three or four lobby disconnects. And there was also a moment that was put on Reddit where it was between Space Station Gaming and Rogue, where <coughs> in one of the games, Cambridge One... A goal was scored by Rogue, and Space Station Gaming had a disconnect, and that's why it went in. Um, the server then was like all ruined, everyone like stopped moving, and then we then came out of it, and I was then discussing it in the background. Mm -hmm. There was then some comments afterwards and during by certain players from Rogue saying that should never have been a, uh, a full game reset, because that's what was decided by the admins. And I want to get it out there as well. At the time... All players, like I said on the broadcast, agreed to a full reset. From yep. the top of that game, all players, uh, or Chrome on behalf of uh, Space Station, and all players from Rogue 
decided together. Look, it's awkward, but yes, full reset, let's do that. So that decision was made by consulting the players, and also it's an admin decision. So it can't be overruled. Admin has all rights at the end of the day to ultimately do what they want uh, when they need to do what they have to do. So a little bit of um, issue with that. But otherwise, all the games went well. Um, all the players were really good at getting into the lobbies. A couple of times, certain players just joined early. Like uh, you get into a thing and just, yeah, I'll join. And it's like, no, you know that that starts the timer. Come on, just stay out until I say go, go, go. It's, it's, it's weird that after how many years of being at the top of this scene, players still make that mistake. Mm -hmm. It's a very easy mistake not to make, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, they, they, they kept doing that. And we actually got a great insight into how players communicate with each other and how different teams yeah. have different vibes. Because Lawler has invented this system where we can hop into player comms. And I didn't realize it was as big a deal in the brawl as it actually was. I thought it was like a small thing that we do once or twice. But the, 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 the Twitch chat assumes it's going to be there for large swathes of the game. And it turns out Rogue, as well as being my favorite team to watch at the moment, because mm. they're just so aggressive and fantastic and fun, they're also my favorite team to listen to. That's but so they're also funny. really bloody weird. They were talking about sandwich plays. They were talking about reverse, reverse rotations. rotations. They were doing this thing where when they scored a goal, they'd come over the goal replay. Oh. So we're saying like, I got it. Yeah, you got... No, I missed that. Oh, I missed the boost. And it's like, wait, have we... Because at, at that point, I was I terrified of technical we errors. I ruined, yeah. I thought that somehow the stream was playing back from earlier. Mm. I was thinking, oh, no, what is this now? But no, it turns out that Turin Turo... Not Turin Turo, Turin, Turin Turo... Uh, is weird and likes to... to, to he just casts over, over it. it. Okay. Nice, we got Wait, not in, not in. You? Not in? I got it, yeah, I got it. <laughs> Guys, my game closed. First shot. Dude, my nice, PC crashed. Dude, my PC job. crashed. Oh I my agree. god, my PC is on fire, bro. Dude, like, you guys my dog just bit off my toe, right. dude. What do I do? <laughs> I'm right. Oh, it's bleeding everywhere, dude. <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna faint. Oh, you got it. They're also like that funny names for the players. Like, Sipical became Sippy Cup. Oh, yeah. Um, AXB was AXB, AXB or AXBA. Which makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Lowercase x, isn't it? It was yep. really fun. Um, there was also Cloud2 took <laughs> part in the tournament because Squishy couldn't make it and um, uh, JNaps and Rizzo were um, away seeing family at the time or like they were um, uh, not available um, at the time. So uh -huh. um, it was Torment, Gimmick and Chicago teamed up as Cloud2, a little portmanteau between Cloud9 and G2. And they went to the grand finals. They swept NRG. Like, they swept, I think, Affinity also, but they were, like, obviously not very good. They did. They then almost got reverse swept by Pittsburgh Knights, but then they ended up taking game five. And they lost in the final, I think, 4-1 to Space Station in the end, or 4-2? It was quite comfortable in the end, yeah. I yeah. Exactly. And watching those games, going to the comps of them, it was absolutely fantastic. I really liked it. G2 and C9 got really into it. Um, they're, they're thinking maybe of doing um, a G9 versus Cloud 2 match at some point, which would be <laughs> really funny. Um, Brawl, fantastic format, fantastic organization. Really, really, really loved being part of it. So thank you, Laura. Thank you, ESPN. It was just great. And I hope everybody watching saw it and liked it. If you didn't see it, go back and watch like, the Grand Finals because it's just fun just chilling out and watching some Rocket League with the homies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good. Otherwise, we've got the Spring Series. Gotta move those pegs to the beat